Welcome to the Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Josh Carney. In an offseason that saw the Pittsburgh Steelers make a number of roster moves in an effort to improve and fortify the roster for a big 2024 season ahead, some moves stand above the rest. Of course, the signings of Russell Wilson, Patrick Queen, and Deshaun Elliott, and the trades for Justin Fields and Dante Jackson have dominated the news talk landscape regarding the Steelers throughout the entire offseason. That doesn't even begin to touch on the rookie draft class the Steelers put together either. There is one move, though, that has flown almost entirely under the radar this offseason that could pay major dividends in 2024. That would be the signing of veteran defensive lineman Dean Lowry. With depth of concern behind Cameron Hayward and Larry Ogunjobi at defensive end, with names like Isaiah Loudermilk, DeMarvin Leal, and rookie Logan Lee set to battle for a job, the Steelers did well to pounce on Lowry after he was cut by the Vikings. Lowry brings nearly 4,000 career snaps to the table for the Steelers, and also brings good size and strength at 6'6", 296 pounds. He's not much of a pass rusher throughout his career, but he's been a stout run defender that controls the line of scrimmage from his spot when he's on the field. He's incredibly dependable. With Hayward coming off an injury-filled year and Ogan Joby largely being a disappointment in his first two seasons in the black and gold, having that depth option of Lowry behind them is extremely comforting for the Steelers. It might not have generated many headlines, but there's a good chance this season Lowry makes some plays that has many grateful he signed with the Steelers in the offseason. He should remind fans of Travis Kershke from back in the day. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out the Terrible Podcast with Alex Kazora and Dave Bryan every Tuesday and Friday.